Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to be showing you guys a great little way to play Windows games on your Mac. Um, this is going to be, for my demonstration, I'm going to be using uh, VMware Fusion, which is a application which basically creates, like it's kind of like boot camp. It kind of creates a virtual machine within your computer that uh, partitions your hard drive like to make it a hybrid kind of Mac and Windows. So as you see, I'm running Windows quite smoothly here. Um, I'll just pull out a calculator really quick. As you can see, I've got everything here. And uh, it's working quite smoothly. And everything is uh, intact. It's got everything. It runs through its own separate type of stuff and, you know, whatnot. So uh, for this tutorial, I'll have in... My Mac section, I will upload this to Mediafire, yes, you're welcome. The, um, in the description, I'll have the links to, let's see, um, here. So, the Windows 7 ISO, which is basically the startup disk, but just a, a file. <clears throat> and that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna get you, um, this file right here, um, this is Windows 7 Home Premium. You can download Professional or whatever, but the serial code that I'm going to include is going to be the VMware Fusion uh, extension code, which is like the universal one for to get off the 30-day trial, so you'll have it forever. And the Windows 7 code right here is uh, Windows Home Premium 32-bit. So as you can see, you go to My Digital Life. I'll have this uh, download in the description. Um, also, along with the VMware Fusion download. So you come down here, go to, uh, let's see, Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit, click English, download that. That's, I think, a 2.5 gigabyte file. Quite a big file, but uh, might take a little bit to download, but uh, I'm sure you guys can deal with that. Next, you want to go to um, vmwarefusion.com. Uh, you want to create an, uh, an account. Um, here, wait one sec. Mm, here we go. VMware Fusion. Uh, it'll take you to VMware.com slash Mac. It'll uh, click try for free. This will be the trial, but I'll include the serial code and the media fire link or whatever. So create an account. Um, put your first name, email address. Just uh, confirm that in your email if they make you or whatever. And uh, if you're a VMware partner or whatever the hell, just click that. Mine is an account, so you just fill that out, and it'll bring a little drop-down bar, and it'll say install manually, and you click that, and it'll be a DMG file. Then you just put that into your applications folder, and you're ready to go. So I have my VMware Fusion open right now, so um, I'll close this, and I'll get back to you guys with the um, in installation of this virtual machine that you see running here. So um, with this, uh, I'll be right back, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned, guys. Alright, what's up guys, I'm back, and uh, I have the ISO file here, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up the uh, Windows uh, partition on your Mac. So, once you have VMware installed, or VMware Fusion rather, uh, go in, uh, put it in your dock or applications folder, rather, wherever, open it up, and here, let me just close this right now, that's my uh, other virtual machine. So go to, it'll bring up a menu which has like a, it says like start new or whatever. But I prefer just to go to uh, the the file bar, do a uh, new, and do continue without disk. Now this is where you want to drag your ISO file in here. And it'll uh, do using a disk or image, and that's the image. Now you do continue. Uh, this should automatically be filled up. It should recognize it, but uh, if not, just do Windows um, 7 and uh, click Mac, uh, Mac, blah, Microsoft Windows. And uh, yeah, so then you got Windows 7. Now here's where you make your uh, account for the Windows. You can put a password, admin password, whatever. And this is where you take the Windows key. Now come into your uh, document or whatever. Um, copy and paste. Um, now choose your Windows version. This is Home Premium, so just do a Home Premium and click Continue. Now what I forgot to say before is in VMware Fusion, um, 
if if you have uh, not done so and put the serial code in, you want to come uh, to VMware Fusion preference uh, the uh, license and uh, just put your key in. That should work fine. All right. So just get that out of the way first before you do all this. My bad. Now you want to click uh, more isolated so that it'll be by itself that you can switch between Windows and Mac, and that it will partition your hard drive, your hard drive instead of sharing or making like a Windows folder. It'll sa save it in the hard drive. So then click next. It'll uh, have these settings. I, I suggest keeping these settings. You customize the settings if you want, but these are basically what you want to do. So you got 60 gigabytes out of whatever your hard drive is, and one up to one gigabyte of RAM, and uh, dedicated towards the Windows 7. Now that's the ISO that we are using, and uh, click finish. So this will go through, and uh, I'm going to save it as Windows uh, Tutorial. Now it'll uh, go through and start up all this stuff. Um, now as you see, it's starting the whole Windows. Now this button here will make it go full screen as you can see and that'll uh, load the files now it's gonna say starting windows and it's basically your own windows so um, I'm gonna let this run um, I'll show you guys just in the beginning it'll say like preparing windows or whatnot there's a little logo the screensaver or whatever and there's the windows logo now as of um, all these windows 7 type of uh, computers you're gonna get the load up screen and it might take a while to load in and uh, since this is the first time it's going to be in a little bit different uh, proportions to the screen so as you see this like it's like normal it's not widescreen so once you get to your desktop it'll work and it'll uh... it'll it'll uh... automatically pick up your resolution and i think it is twelve hundred eighty by eight hundred is the resolution of my thirteen inch macbook MacBook Pro, rather. Um, so now it's going to say copying Windows files, expanding, whatever. Uh, the expanding will probably take around 10 minutes, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And once all this happens, I'll show you the new desktop that you're get going to get, and I'll teach you guys how to download a few games, uh, get Steam, whatever, all the games that you want to play. Uh, everything will work perfectly. There's no crashing or anything. It, it just, uh, it's basically in a whole Windows computer within your Mac. So, uh... Yeah, so I'm get my as I said before, I'm gonna be using World of Tanks, which is a pr pretty fun game. Um, it's 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 used uh, by a lot of good computer gamers. Uh, FPS Russia plays it uh, right now. They're actually doing like a promo for one of his videos that he did. I think he did like a commentary. So uh, yeah, um, I'll close this right now and I'll uh, show you guys how to uh, get the get World of Tanks. So uh, yeah, the, um, I'll be right back once this is done back and uh, as you see we have the windows um, basically all installed what it does is after that installation it'll uh, say completing install it'll download this thing called VMware tools that'll have all the drivers for the internet whatever whatnot and after that it'll restart your computer twice once to download to uh, enhance the video and make it into full uh, <laughs> Resolution, as you see, there used to be bars here, and now it's fully fine. That'll uh, take one restart, and then the second restart is the VMware tools. Now, those are all the drivers and such, so you, you should be fine now. And as you see, if you try and download a game, it'll say you need Java. So uh, I just installed Java and everything. And uh, now I should be able to run Minecraft. <laughs> so I'll just, uh, I guess, show you guys that this does work, and uh, I'll just play offline or whatever. So. I'll just uh, go into a game really quick. I just made a world. And uh, yeah, we're in a world. So as you see, the controls work. Everything works. Um, wow, the sensitivity is on pretty high. Alright, um, for some odd reason, my sensitivity is on high for default settings. So I'll just uh, walk around, you know, jump, whatever. I don't really feel like changing the settings right now for the sensitivity. So yeah, yeah this is on really high. Alright. So uh, yeah, I'll just try and center this in the middle. Alright, there. So let me just walk forward, show you guys that this does work, and I'll uh, click, whatever. Alright, so uh, yeah, let me save and quit the title. And uh, yeah. Now, this is all within the virtual machine, as you see. I can still go back to Mac if I wanted to, and uh, everything. So I hope, hope this works out for you guys, and uh, I guess I actually didn't use the World of Tanks, uh, whatever, um, example, but... 
the internet does work as you see the home page is MSN I'll go to Google and that loads perfectly so yeah so as you see all of this is working it'll uh it's it's no lag it's it's really good as long as your Mac has a lot of RAM left and whatever now if you are one tip I'll give you guys if you are playing really good uh, FPS games and the Mac lags a little or the computer lags a little bit go into your control panel as I have right here go to system security review your computer status click that click uh, view performance information advanced tools and adjust appearance and performance because the default windows has it as all this extra stuff now it says um, it, it says what's best for my computer so at first it'll have it as best performance or appearance rather you want to go to best performance it'll undo all this and click apply <laughs> now the apply part will uh, change it to basically Windows 98 in other words on the bottom so that'll um, that uses less the CPU usage, computer, and all that, and it'll uh, it, it'll let your computer run faster. So I suggest doing that if you're playing high FPS games. And uh, yeah, hope this helped, guys, and uh, enjoy playing all your games and such. See you.